Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of s if we have s plus 17 is equals to s and we solve this problem for all the values of s. So here we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And, uh, and so uh, in the first method if your question statement is that uh, you just need to find the values of s or you just find the roots of this equation so in order to find the value of s or root of this equation you just uh, do uh, the first method and if in your exam the question statement is that uh, determine the solution of this equation so that you can just do uh, the second method directly okay so i hope so you like both of these methods uh, now we move towards the solution of this problem from first method in the first method the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when you apply squaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form and further we use here the nice algebraic formula into the left hand side and you know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square and you see here this is our a and this is our b so according to the below formula we write here the left hand side of the above equation as first you have a square here our a is s square plus two times of a b again our a is s and b is 17 plus b square so b is 17 square is equals to s square so here uh, we need more simplification because we find the values of s so that's why we move this s square from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as s square plus this is two times of 17 is equals to 34 s plus this is over 17 square this is positive s square becomes negative s square and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here in the next step you see here this is the negative s square this is the positive s square are cancelled out by each other and we will get here the remaining values are from here we get this is 34 s plus from here we get 17 square and this whole equation is equals to zero so here our target is to find the values of s so that's why we need to move all the uh, all other terms from left hand side to the right hand side that's why we move this plus 17 square to the right hand side and it will be written as 34s is equals to this is plus 17 square becomes here minus 17 square and now for the values of s we need to remove this 34 from left hand side so for this we need to divide both of the sides by 34 so when we divide both of the sides by 34 uh, it will be written as uh, uh, it will becomes here 34 s divided by 34 is equals to minus 17 square divided by 34 and now further in the next step we have this is th this 34 is cancelled out by this 34 and we get here in the left hand side is s is equals to in the right hand side we have minus 17 square so we write this 17 square as 17 multiplied by 17 and it is divided by 34 so here you see that 17 times of 2 becomes here 34 and we easily get the value of s is equals to minus 17 divided by 2 so this is the value of s which we get here in this method uh, this is the first root of the given equation uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of s be the solution or is this value of s be the extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here so that the given question statement is 
s plus 17 is equals to s this is the our given question statement and now we substitute this value of s on both of the sides and we check its behavior so it will be written as minus 17 divided by 2 and plus 17 is equals to this is minus 17 divided by 2 so here we need to take the LCM uh, of the left hand side and we check that is both of the sides are equal or not so you clearly see here the LCM of this term is true and here we when we divide this 2 by 2 we will get here 1 only and 1 times of minus 17 becomes here minus 17 and plus this is 2 times of 17 becomes here 34 and we check that <clears throat> is this equals to minus 17 over 2 or not so further in the next step we have this is minus 17 plus 34 and minus 17 plus 34 becomes here 17 over 2 is equals to uh, here we check that is this equals to minus 17 over 2 or not and you clearly see here 17 over 2 is not equals to minus 17 over 2 or in other words we just say that it is not possible that the value of uh, 17 over 2 equals to minus 17 over 2 so this means that the value of s is not satisfied over given question statement so uh, here uh, you see that uh, uh, 17 over 2 is not equals to minus 17 over 2 and here we just <clears throat> conclude about minus 17 over 2 is that uh, s equals to minus 17 over 2 be the extraneous root of the uh, given equation okay uh, so because uh, the value of s is equals to minus 17 over 2 is not satisfied our given question statement so this is the our extraneous root and you see here we cannot get any other value of s is equals to minus 17 over 2 so that's why this question has no solution so this is the our final conclusion uh, about the first method uh, so uh, uh, now here uh, we need to move towards our second method so here i can just uh, in the second method we just uh, uh, directly move towards the uh, solution uh, of this equation so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and it is s plus 17 is equals to s and here in this method uh, we just do direct step so that here we move this uh, uh, s to the right hand side and it will become here 17 equals to s minus s this is negative and positive s are gone and we get here 17 is equals to 0 so here again you clearly see that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal it means that it is not possible as uh, 17 is equals to 0 so this is a not possible case uh, so uh, this means that uh, in the second method we cannot get any value of s which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that this question has uh, no solution in general so uh, this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel